it's been a crazy week with uh, the two games we played and the injuries we've had. And um, but we found a way to, to battle through it. I think that shows some character on, on our team's part. Main thing, you know, while we've been successful as a team, uh, you know, winning really close games down the stretch, I'll say, you know, just playing together. Sometimes on the offensive end, everything doesn't flow, you know, as perfectly as we would like it to, you know, so we had to do other things like get stops on the defense end and, you know, get to the free throw line and, and knock down the free throws, you know. Just whatever it takes to come out with W, that's what we try to do. I mean, we always just play to the very end, I mean, we never give up. I mean, we have a great set of leaders and Keith, Nix, and Russell, and, um, I mean, we just follow them at the end of the games, and uh, we're able to uh, bear down and um, uh, pull out a lot of close wins. If we feel like it's close, we just know we got to all take our games to the next level. And, uh, you know, me and Keith try to lead as best we can to uh, try to finish out with a strong game. Part of the, you know, the grit, um, we're just trying to, you know, bear down, just focus on, you know, trying to pull the game out and win. We won a couple few games that were very close that we could have easily lost, but um, I think at the same time we just, we knew we had to, our chemistry and our regrouping at times during, towards the end of the games has really helped us. So I think that as long as we're sticking together, we're going to put ourselves in a good chance to win. We've just been able to just play together as a team and, you know, just come together as a team and, you know, basically just, you know, run it out and, you know, communicate and just play together. The team's just been able to stick together. I mean, we may not always agree with everything, but everybody knows the purpose and what we need to do to accomplish the goals. The coach is always talking about we need to be tough. I mean, uh, tough, tough uh, teams usually uh, win the close games because they're tougher than another team and uh, coach just uh, places a big emphasis on just doing the little things and uh, at the end of the game where they really add up and uh, help us get the win. We're real close to the team, we've got a lot of chemistry, um, been together for a while, we're kind of young. But uh, you know, we just, you know, we love being together, being around each other and we know when it's, you know, some winning time and we got to bear down and play defense. You know, it started, I feel like, the Travis Warren era, and, um, it was just a Spartan dog thing. Uh, when it's time to win, it's winter time. You gotta sacrifice your body, everything. You, know, you gotta lock in with those last four minutes left and it's close, and you gotta go to the go-to guy, whoever that is, or whoever got the hot hand, and you know, just gotta roll. I can't really describe chemistry. It's just either you have it or you don't. Um, you know, I think that a lot of times that when we get down in certain situations where sometimes the team make their run or we make our run, um, I think it's just important for us to just stick together to, for whatever situation may happen. If you're not very close to your teammates, you're not going to listen to the things that they're telling you to do late in the game. You know, and you that that camaraderie, and chemistry is not going to show late in the game. You know, it's going to allow you to be not as successful as we have been lately. I mean, we all just chill together. We, we, we're a good group of guys that all like each other. Nobody really has any big issues, um, and so that translates on the translates on the court because we can. Sometimes we can say stuff to uh, a guy that we're close friends with that we couldn't say to another guy. We're like brothers, uh, you know, we, we hang out, you know, off the court, you know, go to movies, uh, you know, we in here uh, shooting together and doing, we just doing stuff together. So that's, that's the main thing, just having that chemistry, having that bond, you know, off the court. You know, he, coach is always talking about, you know, on the court, you know, this and that, but uh, it's very important that you have a bond off the court, and, you know, that's, that's what this team is like. If I wouldn't trade none of my teammates for no other player in the country. You know, that's from one to five, you know, we got a good bench fire off coming off the bench and like I said we got good shooters, good slashers, good dunkers, good post players, good rebounders and it's just a pretty pretty talented team. So having those group of guys that are already there that know how to win and having a group of guys that come in and know how to win, it's it's a really big plus. They're not just good players that know how to finish games. And we're gonna go hard to, to all 40 minutes man. I feel like we all go out there and give our full effort and then we're out there competing and um, we're trying to win so I mean we never give up. Uh, like I said, I think this is the toughest team I've been on my four years here. Last year was tough, but I think some of last year's toughness rolled over onto this year now. I mean, a lot of guys on this team have uh, played with each other for at least one or two years, you know, so we kind of got a pretty good feel for each other. And we all pretty much had the same goals. We all want to win, and, you know, we know that it takes for each and every individual on this team to play hard for us to do that, so that's just what we do. We're a scrappy team that um, has found some ways to win, and there's that's the bottom line, and uh, it's not always pretty, and we maybe don't get it done the smoothest way, but uh, we've won a lot of games, a lot of big games, and uh, maybe we have nine big, big, big games left.
going to have to play silent and tough for 40 minutes. We just got to be smarter with the ball and uh, uh, be careful, more uh, cautious of our passes. Transition defense, we said this is a key to the game all week. Okay, They run off live turnovers. They run off turnovers where they can knock balls loose and then they get going. You got to come in and be more focused on during the beginning of the game. And we had to knock down shots. I mean, if we're, if we're going to get such good looks, uh, the guards, we have to knock down the shots and uh, take some of the pressure off the bigs. When us hitting the shots, we can go inside at the end and uh, the bigs are able to finish it off. You know, in Minnesota, you know, they were, you know, you know, crashing, you know, rallying to the ball, you know, when you were drive. So, you know, the kickoffs were wide open. And, you know, I thank my, thank my guys, you know, making shots and, you know, kicking them out to me when I'm open to them. Gary had a couple big shots. And one, we were just about to take them out because DJ felt he was hurting so bad. And then he hit that one deep in the corner. Boy, the guy's, the guy's got ice, ice in his veins and, and tougher than nails in his heart. We just wanted to be solid, and it, and it helped us out tremendously. Yeah. Play with a, a lot, uh, with a better sense of urgency. Uh, as uh, Nick said, I mean, uh, we just got to uh, come out and play like that all the time instead of waiting until the second half and waiting until we get down. We didn't rebound that well in that same area. We need to keep, keep continuing, um, you know, because that's what, you know, Coach Izzo has been big on in the past, so we need to get back to those boards. Uh, they kind of did a pretty good job of guarding our bigs on the inside. You know, they just found us on the, on the perimeter and we were able to hit open shots. Um, I think Denzel has taken two steps forward in the last couple of weeks, so that's been a positive for us. You know, we got steals for touchdowns, you know, we locked down, everybody was talking on defense, and you know, we just played together as a team. You know, we, we, we played these guys once before, so we kind of you know, knew everything that these guys were going to do. Uh, we knew the scouting report, we knew the plays and everything. So. Proud of the way we came back. Proud of the fact that two second halves we responded. We gotta give Minnesota some credit. You know those guys, they fought hard and it was, it was tough to score against them. You know, but at the end of the game we were able to pull away and, and come out the W. We played hard. We played hard defensively, and uh, we knew the assignments. I mean. I feel like we uh, we were just ready for the plays and we were able to make uh, plays on the ball when, uh, uh, when we saw our opportunities that we were able to convert on our deal. It was a tough first half, you know, we didn't come out with like intensity, but uh, you know, second half, you know, we came out and played a little better, but still don't think we played up to our potential yet. Win a big game against a very good team, a very good team, and you should feel better than you feel, but uh, some of it is not, it's out of everybody's control. When they install these video boards in our venues, um, and without the help of uh, our broadcast crew, folks like Bob Armstrong, Nick Baker, they really have to design, and figure out how we're going to lay out all the scoring, how we're going to lay out all of the Michigan State branding, and then the, the corporate sponsor and the branding that goes along with that. It seems to bring the building closer together. It seems that Breslin's always been a very intimate facility, which I was, from the first day I walked in here, I was very impressed with that, how the design is you're right on top of the floor. This. Those boards just make you feel like you're even closer. And uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with the way it's turned out. We've had nothing but, but compliments on it, and uh, it's just uh, another positive aspect of our program. What really makes the atmosphere great in the Breslin Center is the Izone and the fans and having a great program. But sometimes we have an opportunity with the band and the DJ and the video boards. A key song might kick in and we all work in concert together and really can take it up you know, one more notch. And I think that's what uh, makes Breslin's atmosphere pretty impressive. We've been really pleased. Um, 
particularly the fascia board, uh, the ribbon around the, uh, uh, you know, the upper bowl uh, has, uh, has allowed us to do more things in the building, um, be more creative. And as if you've, if you've seen every game, as our fans have seen every game, we've gotten a little bit better with the board. It's one of those things like any other, any other tool, you know, the more you use it, the better you get. So uh, uh, I've been real pleased with what our uh, creative staff has done with it. And uh, uh, people, are, people are getting used to it now, but it is, it's entertaining and adds a whole nother aspect. The 360 ring in Breslin gives us a lot of opportunities for sponsorships. It really enhances the environment for the fans with noise prompts. It also gives us the opportunity to put different types of information on the board. Uh, such as stats and a lot of things that you can get at home when you're watching the game on television. Now you can get this information while you're in the arena. It gets a more of an added value to our fans. It's important that there's that, that these video boards would really able, enable us to brand Michigan State University. So when you see the video boards, the Spartan brand is prominent. The Michigan State word marks, the Spartan word marks are very prominent. And the whole arena can be Michigan State branded. Uh, and I think that's important because that's really why people are at the venues. The sponsorship stuff is blended in throughout the game, and um, I think fans understand that that's all part of it. You know, that's a that's a way that we fund and are able to pay for the equipment that we have that ultimately benefits the fans because you have the uh, you know, the replays, the, the great graphics that they see, the stats, different things that they didn't have accessible to them before. Even though the boards were HD capable year, a year ago, and we had HD cameras, we wouldn't have HD production equipment. Uh, to take the HD picture to the HD screen. So everything last year was in, uh, was in analog, and so now we're HD and digital, and uh, the, the, uh, particularly on the center hung, uh, the boards are so much clearer. Uh, and, and then that new equipment allows us to do even more with the ribbons and to coordinate all those things and the additional graphics. So last year we were running on about you know 50% capacity and now we've powered up so we can we can run it at, at max the way it should be run. Our operation here is a combination of students, it's a combination of freelance professionals and some full-time professionals and it's really a great place to come work as a student uh, because you get a lot of hands-on opportunities that you may not get while you're in college and you can get a jump start on that. We've had a lot of students go on to have great careers at ESPN and Fox and all over the country. And also gives uh, us plenty of opportunities to enhance our atmosphere. Redshirting is always the player's decision, number one, unless it's an injury. You know, it's disappointing I got hurt, but in the end, you know, I know this year is gonna really benefit me because I'm learning a whole lot about everything and, and really trying to understand and be a student of the game. The coach has never made a kid redshirt. Uh, he leaves that decision up to, to the kid. This year, like I said, my because of the line we have, we have so much strength, um, especially in our post players this year. There's, there wasn't really a whole lot of minutes for him get. I'm always a big fan of redshirting because it takes most kids four and a half years to graduate anyway, and if you look at it, 90% of the kids are going to play more minutes their fifth year than their first year. We've had years where we had three, you know, guys uh, redshirt in one year, with uh, Ebok and. Sutan and, and Marquise Gray, those guys all redshirted. And uh, we've had other years where some people thought kids were going to redshirt like a Charlie Bell and they end up playing right away. We had David Thomas that redshirted his junior year because he thought it would give him the best chance to be successful later on. I mean, I've, I've, I've learned just from sitting out that there's a lot to learn. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I, that I don't fully understand. Um, sitting out um, and being a redshirt this year is really going to benefit me just because of everything that I'm learning now. I've learned how, how coach coaches, I learned how to deal with adversity, um, I learned how to be a good student and, um, you know, it's, and really in the end it's really only going to benefit me. It's been helpful because size is something that I need to work on so because I don't have to worry about playing in the games um, I can lift a lot more often than these guys can. Um, you know I don't have to be game ready, I can be you know a little fatigued from lifting um, so I can, I can do that more and also um, it takes away a lot of the pressure, you know, getting ready for the game, so you can work on work, work on yourself without having that, your own game without having that added pressure of, all right, I got to perform, I got to do exactly, you know, you, you've got room for error, so you're more comfortable and you, you, you grow more that way. It, uh, it makes you go through things that maybe most kids haven't gone through, and that's really have to work for something. And it takes basketball kind of away for a year, and some guys 
appreciate it even more. So a lot of positives to it. It's just up to the individual. I think Kenny is, is, is doing a pretty good job of uh, taking advantage of the year. Uh, he's understanding and figuring out that he's got to continue to get stronger, get himself in unbelievable condition, and he has to continue to play hard. But uh, there's no question that he's going to be a very skilled player for us and uh, look forward to getting him out there. It's a new, it's a new speed, it's a new tempo. You really got to know all your stuff, and um, you really got to be smart when you play. You know, it's, it's not easy. You know, it takes a little bit of transition time, and that's why, you know, this year, you know, really, really is going to help me out just because I've, I've learned so much already and there's so much more for me to learn. When you're comfortable with what you're doing, it's a lot easier to be vocal and be a leader. The first year we're like, okay, you know, Kobe's, you know, not bad. He's working hard and he, he brings a lot, a lot of energy to practice. And, you know, we started practicing this year and all of a sudden, you know, we're saying, man, this kid has a chance to be a player. So uh, we, we asked him if he wouldn't mind redshirting and, you know, to our surprise, he was more excited about it than we were. You know, being a, a redshirt um, isn't necessarily the easiest decision to make. Um, you know, I've, every every freshman comes in thinking that they want to come in and play and be a part of a good program and everything. And and being a, a redshirt, it, it's no different. You know, you, I'm still part of the program. I'm still on the team. I still practice every day. I just have a little bit different role this year. Can you graduate, win championships, and move on to play professional basketball? And if it takes you one year or five year, the nice thing about redshirting is it gives you that leeway. Sometimes redshirting helps you mature a little bit. By redshirting, like I said, I'm not losing a whole lot, and I, got, I could gain a lot from it. It gets very loud, you know? The students, fans, I mean, the student section is always into the game, and so 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 is the other fans. So it's going to be a tough place to play, but we just got to remain remain poised throughout. Well, that's a good mark, study, guys. Get a little better right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's kind of what we do. I say I want for this program this year. My goal is my dream. So we're in the thick of it. Now we got to finish. Uh, we got to come out there with a sense of urgency and uh, be ready to play, uh, unlike we did the last few games. Oh, they're going to be ramped up. Uh, we got a couple guys from Indiana on our team, so they'll be pretty, pretty rowdy. You know, we just came out, you know, we just stayed aggressive, man. We just kept playing. They were all, you know, they came out and played as hard as they could, you know, but we were able to make a lot of shots and get things going on the inside, and that made it tough for them the whole night. You know, the game is definitely slowing down, and, you know, like you said, you know, we've been, we've been you know, watching our turnovers and everything, and that's what Coach has been talking about, just take care of the ball. That was, you know, to get the ball in the post and let the bigs make a play, and, you know, they made a lot of plays. We just kept, we just kept responding, we just kept bouncing back. Uh, you know, we had uh, great uh, guys stepping up like Denzel. Uh, when Key went down with the two fouls in the first half, Denzel stepped up and played, you know, some quality minutes, so got to do it. Keith, you know, got in foul trouble, and, you know, coach, you know, told me during this week that I was going to be playing some points. The Big Ten is so talented heavy this year. It's, it's, it's tough to win each and every night, you know, so for us to be able to pull this and out, it, it speaks speaks volume of our, of, our, of our character as a team. You know, you just, your job at point guard, you know, just control the game, make sure everybody's in a position and set everybody else up to score. And um, I think I did that tonight. Just, uh, our leadership is building, our chemistry is just getting better, and we're just trying to build on everything, capitalize. The environment produced a very good team, you know, they're tough. Um, you know, it's a, their crowd, you know, was, was really into it, so um, it's a good road for us. Coach just said he wanted to go inside and he wanted us to, uh, you know, go at, go at that big man. Uh, so we just tried to get the ball inside, get it inside out. Come down here with a lot of good teams and gone away sad. 
Uh, not an easy place to win and not an easy place to play. I thought our team uh, battled the whole game. We had some bizarre lineups in there because of foul trouble and injuries. And uh, I'm really proud of them. Two and a half hours. Three, five, three, one, two, three. Five.